اسم الاب والابن والروح القدس اله واحد امين ربنا السماوي نحن بنشكرك الليله من يوم انك جمعتنا كنسوان بتاع جنوب السودان بمشاركه بنا بتاع نسواننا الجايين من نيجيريا والجماعه اليوم ده كمرت ماما ميري ايانديت من اجل دوله بتاع جنوب السودان من اجل وحده بتاع جنوب السودان ونساء جنوب السودان باركنا دائما يا رب في الليله دي يا رب وفي اليوم دي وفي اللحظه دي ساعدنا يا رب وخلينا نمشي على حسب المشيئه بتاعك يا رب ده كله انا بساله باسم وخلصنا يسوع المسيح امين اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا ان انسان لفي خص الا الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات Republic of South Sudan, oh yeah. Northern Bahar Ghazal, oh yeah. Center Equatoria, oh yeah. Warabi State, oh yeah. Lake State, oh yeah. الفقير ما يربين وياي ماما يندي وياي يونيتي ستيت وياي ابيي وياي ما انه ما ستيت جزء لا تجزا من ولاد ورب لكن كل الولايات وياي يور اكسلنسي ذا ريبريزنتيف فور ذا فاست ليدي اوف ذا ريبابليك اوف ساوث سودان يور اكسلنسي representative of the president african ladies peace mission honorable national ministers honorable national mps honorable state mps and ministers and advisors on behalf of the south sudan first lady and on my behalf and on behalf of the women of south sudan I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to warmly welcome you all especially our distinguished great visitors who have come all the way from Nigeria to this event to share the celebration with us this is a very important historical occasion in which we are here to welcome on behalf of our first lady Mama Mary Ayandi and we must thanks his excellency dama dictor patient good luck johnson president of africa of africa first lady peace mission who have made this event a successful a successful indeed before i say anything please allow me also to pass our con sincerely condolences heartfelt for the passing away of mama charity oba that occurred in a car accident on monday 22nd july 2000 and, uh, 2013 in in nigeria all might rest her soul in peace once again please allow me to share my thoughts about the role of south sudan women in peace building and development of this great nation of south sudan let me say this without the women the bush would have been nothing the women stay at home to take care of their children and run the house are there husband were involved in liberation war some of their husband never returned home to see their children grow or thanks their wives for bringing them up but president kamrat selfakir mayardi he has acted on their behalf the women of south sudan are surely grateful to kamarat sal fakir mayardi and have vowed to save their nation wall 
hardly. His Excellency Commander Self Fakir Mayardi knows that the women of South Sudan are capable of carefully serving their country. In addition to the important role that they played in the liberation struggle that resulted in the freedom we are now enjoying. He has not only honored women, but also given them a chance to prove to the world that they can compete positively with their male equals in nation building. Niswan Bita Januba Sudan من أجل النسوان بتاع جنوب السودان وأنا دار نقول بعرب البسيط لو كان ما نسوان بتاع جنوب السودان ما الغابة ما كان حيكون عنده معنى نسوان بتاع جنوب السودان هم فضلوا بورا وفي جزء منهم شاركوا في الحرب في ناس احتموا بعيالهم زمن رجال بتاعهم في الحرب وفي رجال نسبة قليلة ممكن نقول 30% هم رجعوا لعيالهم لكن في رجال نسبة بتاع 80% أو 70% ما رجعوا لعيالهم عشان ما يشكروا نسوانهم للاهتمام اللي اهتموا به ما رجعوا لنسوانهم عشان يشوفوا عيالهم وهم بيتربوا في وسط بتاع أسرهم كاميرات الفقير ما يارد عمل دور كبير وخلى أو هو مثل دور بتاع الشهداء خلى أرواح بتاع الشهداء يكون مرفوع في جمهورية بتاع جنوب السودان كاميرات الفقير عمل اهتمام اللي نحن وعمل صبر لغاية ما وصلنا الليلة لدولة بتاع جنوب السودان أو بجمهورية بتاع جنوب السودان بصبر العمل The South Sudan First Lady thanks the international community for their excellent support and cooperation they have delivered for the people of South Sudan. To become a recognized nation in the world and also become a member of both the African Union and Nation and, Un uh, and U United Nations. The First Lady is deeply grateful for concern of the African First Ladies Peace Mission for giving relief as part of their support and tireless efforts provided by friends, neighbors, international community and their respective leadership to allow the new nation of South Sudan to become a successfully in whatever it needs. With your support, the women of South Sudan will shine and Mama Mary Ayandi will shine as well. The South Sudan First Lady will support the women of South Sudan and will work hard to contribute to ensure peace and to ensure peace provide in South Sudan. I would like to conclude my remarks and welcome Her Excellency, the Minister of MCT, to give her a speech. فنحنا بنرحب بها ونصفق لها للضيفة جاتنا عشان ما هي تجي تقدم لنا زي ما هي قدمت لنا هدايا شفناه برا فنحنا دائرنا نجي نسمع الكلام اللي هي هتقوله. You are most welcome, Her Excellency. representative of Her Excellency the First Lady of the Republic of South Sudan, the national ministers here present, the national members of parliament here present, the state ministers and state members of parliament here present, the, His Excellency, the Nigerian Ambassador to South Sudan, 
the distinguished delegation from Nigeria of Her Excellency, the First Lady of Nigeria, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press. First of all, I want to give you the good wishes of Her Excellency, the President of the African First Lady's Peace Mission, the First Lady of Nigeria, Dr. Dame Patience Goodluck Jonathan, to all the good people, especially the women and children of the Republic of South Sudan. Her Excellency would have loved to be here, but regrettably, she suffered a loss, a bereavement. Her mother, she lost her mother, and that is why she cannot be with you in person today, but she is with you in spirit, and she sends you her love. I have a speech, thank you, from Her Excellency to deliver to her sister, Her Excellency Madam Mary Ayan Mayadit, the First Lady of the Republic of South Sudan. So I will read the speech. I am delighted to be in your beautiful capital city of Juba, which has a long, rich, and magnificent history. I come here today under the auspices of the African First Lady's Peace Mission. And I bring to you the good wishes of all the First Ladies of the continent of Africa. I also wish to use this occasion to convey the warm greetings of the good women of Africa and especially the compliments of Nigerian women. I want to start my address by expressing my sincere appreciation to Her Excellency, Madam Mary Ayan Mayadit, the First Lady of South Sudan, for the warm reception extended to me and my delegation. You have truly demonstrated the gracious hospitality with which Africa is renowned. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the African continent is on a path of a new threshold. Our collective desire for peace is being strengthened more by the action and voices of African women. Our continent longs for peace and stability. I therefore want to congratulate your country that the conflict between the North and the South of Sudan has paved way for peaceful dialogue and negotiations. It is a basic fact of human existence that there will be disputes and outbreak of conflict. It is, however, unfortunate that it is the vulnerable groups who invariably do not initiate war or conflict that are the most adversely affected. These groups are often the women, children, and the elderly. Your Excellency, you may recall that the mandate of the African First Lady's Peace Mission is to provide support for conflict prevention and management. It also has the mandate to assist in the making, keeping, and building of peace through various means, including civil, humanitarian, and diplomatic action. It is in the spirit of this mandate that we are here today. Support must be extended to victims of conflicts. This will help to cushion some of the trauma and discomfort they are going through. We are aware that your government 
and civil society organizations are doing so much to assist those who have been affected by South Sudan's conflict. Our gesture today, through the African First Lady's peace mission, is to demonstrate our support and solidarity through humanitarian action to the women and children of South Sudan who have been affected in one way or the other by the conflict. It may interest Your Excellency to know that the peace mission recently provided relief materials to refugees and displaced people living in Kenya from Somalia. Before then, we had undertaken a similar exercise in the Republic of Mali. We will be extending the same gesture to more African countries, including Guinea-Bissau and the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, among others. At this juncture, permit me to express my confidence in the belief that African women have the potential to strengthen their natural role as vanguards of peace, under which their families can thrive and flourish. We must therefore resolve to work collectively and with greater zeal to see an end to violent conflict on our beloved continent. Particularly, we must work harder to resist the tendencies that give rise to the inhuman treatment of our women and girls. We must also put a stop to the recruitment of our sons as child soldiers. It is inspiring to note that in many parts of Africa, women have played and continue to play significant roles in the restoration of peace in their respective communities. Collectively, as First Ladies, we must continue to work in our villages, towns, cities, and countries to address the root causes of violence. We have the opportunity as leaders, organizers, and as women to raise awareness and advocate for change. We remain committed to the responsibility of providing support for women and children affected by conflict in Africa. I therefore have the singular honor and privilege to present these relief items. Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of South Sudan, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we look forward to a time in the near future when our dear continent will be more peaceful and completely free from conflict. Long live Africa. Long live the African First Lady's Peace Mission. Long live the Federal Republic of South Sudan. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you.